What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. I'm gonna go over just the basics about PA school accreditation. Here we go. So this is gonna be a very, very simple and basic breakdown of the different types of PA school accreditations. And I'm gonna be saying accreditation and accredited quite a bit in this video, so bear with me. So there's currently 218 accredited PA programs, which is awesome, and it continues to grow every year. Basically, the ARC PA, the Accreditation Review Commission on Education for PAs, is the accrediting agency, which is independent from any of the PA programs. So they have a number of standards that each program needs to meet to stay accredited. So we'll start with the most common accreditation, which is accredited continuing. Basically, if a school has continuing accreditation, that means that they have already met the standards set by the ARCPA and are meeting all the expectations that the ARCPA has set out for them. And usually this is seen in established programs that have been around for at least a few years. So when you are applying to PA school, looking for programs that are accredited continuing are the best ones to apply to because they've been established, they've followed all the standards and meet all the expectations of the ARC PA. So the accrediting agency review each program about, I believe it's about five or seven years. And about every five or seven years, the program gets reviewed by the National Accrediting Agency to see if they're still meeting the standards. And if they pass, they get another five to seven years of continuing accreditation, which is an awesome thing. So the second type of accreditation that you're gonna see is provisional, provisional accreditation. So a provisionally accredited program is accredited. This is something that I feel like a lot of students get confused about when applying and choosing schools that are provisionally accredited. If a school is provisionally accredited and you matriculate into their program, you are allowed to sit for the national exam. As long as they are provisionally accredited, by the time you matriculate, which means by the time that you start your program, you can sit for the exam. If they lose their accreditation before you finish the program, you are still allowed to sit for the national exam. So when you do apply to provisionally accredited programs, that means that the school has been granted accreditation from the ARCPA, and they will be reviewed in a year or two to see if they are continuing to meet the standards. So just to reiterate, a provisionally accredited program is an active accreditation. So if you do really like a program that's only provisionally accredited, you can still apply and if you get accepted and they are provisionally accredited by the time you start the program, you shouldn't have any problems sitting for the national exam, which is the most important thing. So if you do get accepted to a provisionally accredited program and you start the program while it is provisionally accredited, you can sit for the national exam and you have nothing to worry about. And the chances that a provisionally accredited program does lose its accreditation is very slim. Programs have lost their provisionally accredited accreditation, but it's not very likely. So the next type of program that we're gonna look at is developing programs. Developing programs have applied for accreditation, but they haven't been accepted to be accredited by the ARCPA. There is a little bit of risk in applying and starting a program that is developing, because if the program doesn't receive its accreditation, you don't get any of your money back and the school is not gonna be accredited and you're not gonna be able to sit for the national exam. And you have to sign, I think electronically, or check a box that states that you know that if the program that you're starting is developing and it's not fully accredited and isn't accredited by the time I believe you finish the program, then you can't sit for the program and you don't get any refunds. So there is risk in applying for programs that are developing, but I would say that a good amount of the developing programs also become accredited. So when a program is in a developing accreditation status, I think they have about a year to meet the standards and then the ARCPA will do a review on that program. And if they meet the standards, they'll become provisionally accredited, which means that you'll be able to sit for the national exam. The last type of accreditation we're gonna look at is probational accreditation. A program that's on probation but still accredited means that they have been accredited before but they failed to meet some of the standards in a review that the ARCPA has done and they have I think two years to meet the standards when they do get reviewed again. If they continue to fail to meet those standards they will lose their accreditation but any program that is still on probation is still considered accredited for the two years before they get reviewed again. So you have to be careful about that as well. Being on probation isn't a good thing. If a program is on probation, that means they're not meeting some of the standards and that does raise a red flag when applying to these programs. 
So if a program is in probation while you are accepted into the program and you start the program, it is still accredited and you can sit for the national exam. So that's not something you have to worry about if you are accepted into a probationally accredited program. I hope this video was helpful in simplifying the accreditation of programs. I know it's still a little bit confusing. If you do have more questions, go ahead and go to the ARCPA website, which I will list in the description box. This information I did get from the CASPA website, as well as the ARCPA website that goes over the accreditation of PA programs. Please give it a like if you learned something new about accreditation. Um, how many times did I say accreditation, accrediting in this video? Don't forget to be like my blood type, be positive. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.